What's going on, guys? It is Jacob from Armchair Coaches Baseball. I am joined by my side, my left-hand man, because my right hand has no man. No man. It's Alex. It's me. What's up, dude? Not much. Just How? having a lot of fun. All the fun? All the fun. Home and Derby tonight. You hear about it? I heard about it. You hear about it? I didn't get to watch it. I saw the final round. You saw the last little, last little snippet there? The last little snippet. Alonzo Mancini going in. Going in. But Alonzo comes out on top with a walk-off moonshot. Defends his title. Defends the title. Defends the title. He's got the belt. Back-to-back. Back-to-back champs. He got E8. Money in the bank. Right there. I wonder what his bonus is for winning the home run derby. Million dollars. Really? I wonder if it's a mil. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I could win the home run derby. Uh-huh. Sure. I, no, I believe you it. You doubt? You doubt? No, it was a, it was a confident uh-huh. Didn't sound like it. It was. Let's start off with round one then. Okay. Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Great story. If you watch the broadcast, I heard they mentioned it 1,000 times, but he is a cancer survivor. Mm-hmm. Tough, tough guy. Colon cancer, diagnosed stage three colon cancer in March, I believe. Survived. Survived. Beat it. Beat it. Just a legend. And he went on in the first round of the home run derby to hit 24 home runs. How'd he look? 24 ding dongs. Oh, he was stroking the baseball. Stroking, stroking, stroking. The stroking. Just hitting ropes. 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 I can see that because his hardest hit ball of the night was 113 miles an hour. Yeah. His average exit velocity, well, you're looking at the screen now, but take a guess at what it is. It's 106. 106. I don't know if you were going to have me guess. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling now. Okay, okay. We're, we're doing the guesses. We're doing the yeah, guesses. Yeah, we're doing the guesses. Who'd he go up against? He went up against Matt Olson. I just looked at his name. I was just making sure. I didn't look at the stats. I the didn't look Oakland at the stats. Athletics sweet swinging lefty first baseman hit 23 home runs to lose in the first round against Trey Mancini, the Baltimore Oriole. You ready for the guess? Ready for the guess. Look right into my eyes. I'm looking in your eyes. Right in the baby blues. What is Matt Olson's average exit velocity? 108. Damn, that's close. 106. Price is right. Rule. 106. I lost. 106. He had that sick Oakland Athletics bat, though. Mm-hmm. How sick was it? They all had pretty pretty decked out bats. Matt Olson's was yellow, and it had his number all over it in green. Ooh. A bunch of what? other stuff. There is something so classy about that yellow and green. I like it. it truly is. It's a cool It's a cool looking uni. Truly, truly is. Those uh, yellow ones that just say Oakland across. Ooh. ooh. I like those a lot. Up next. The Colorado kid. He's not from Colorado, but he plays for the Colorado Rockies. For the Rockies. Trevor Story. Trevor Story. Was it a story book ending for Story tonight? In the first round, yeah. 20 home runs. Hometown favorite. Right-handed. Smashing balls. Uh, longest home run of the night. What is it? You didn't look that time. I, I got look. you. Didn't look. I'm going to say 492. You're way off. Way off. 518. He oh, is way off. tank. Wow. Hit How did I forget that one? Tank, bro. How did I forget that tank? It was a Mammal Jamma moonshot. That's what I'm calling him now. Just a video game shot. Ooh, I've never hit a 518-foot home run. In he got to use, like, David Ortiz or something. No, never. Not even, like, if you do, like, home run derby? No. Hmm. I respect David Ortiz as a player. Well, I, I'm just using did. him as an example. You could use like Mickey Mantle or something, or Babe I Ruth. would use Mickey. Hey, I'm just saying. Who's Yankees my favorite first baseman of the New York Yankees ever? Mark Tejera. No. <laughs> Lou Gehrig. He yes, coaches. sir. Yeah, Lou. number four, number four, number four. Trevor Story went up against Joey Gallo, the number two seed. He was projected by many to win the home run derby. Alex. Home run derby correspondent. Did he win the home run derby? He did not. He didn't make it out of the first round. Oh. Only 18 ding dongs for Joey. Vegas, what do you guys know? Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. You say 18? 18, yeah. No, he had 19. Oh, he had 19? Okay, that was one off. Price is right rules, though. That's good. How much are we paying you? Right now, nothing. It's going to stay that way. Okay. It's going to stay that way. All right. 19 home runs. Longest home run of the night. Go. Mm. Can he get it? 
497. 494. Damn, you were getting close. Ooh, that was good. Okay. You were getting close. That was close. The guessing. Oh, average exit. Velo. Um, Get close to this one. Dingus. All right. I'll try. 106. Damn it. You saw it. I didn't see it. You saw it. I swear to God, I didn't see it. Is it 106? You, yes, it is. Why Why would I say it was a 106 if I didn't say that you saw it? I don't know. I'm still learning. Just learning how life works. What's your favorite player in the league do tonight? What did Pete Alonso do in the first round? How many home runs did your favorite player hit? The polar bear. Well, my favorite player was probably chilling on a couch or bed somewhere because he tore his ACL two did, years ago. Did he have surgery? I don't think so. I don't no. think he's yet. I think he might have. I Actually, think the polar bear might have surgery for how heavy that chain was around his neck. Because oh. in the first round, he hit 35 home runs. 35. Is that a? Is that what they call a record? That is a record. It just shatters Josh Hamilton's own record of oh, 28. Home run derby record. In one less minute than Josh Hamilton. One less minute. Pete Alonzo absolutely, abs- 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 absolutely destroyed baseballs tonight. Just destroyed baseballs. Destroyed baseballs. He had two home runs. One that was 514 feet. The other 512. Yeah, he was killing the baseball. What was his average home run distance? The average distance. Average distance. 464. 447. You lose again. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, my battery. I mean, my phone's about to die. It's on 10%. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. But the polar bear went up against the Kansas City kid, Salvador Perez, Mm -hmm. who put up a valiant effort. 28 home runs. Still didn't get out of the first round, but if you hit 28 home runs in the first round, you should be golden. Yeah. I mean, Pete Alonso just hit 35. What what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Tell me. Hit 36, but... It wasn't in the books. It wasn't in the books. So Perez hits 28, and then to probably the most exciting matchup of the first round, Juan Soto going up against Shohei. Showtime. Otani. The guy I had winning it all after I found out my first guy was not participating. It's okay. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about that. But this one went into two tiebreakers, right? Two overtimes? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Um, Soto ended up hitting 31. Otani hit 28. Can you explain to me what happened? Because you told me when I I first initially came over, you're like, dude, Otani choked. He He absolutely choked. choked. Tell me what happened. He choked. Okay. So after the initial three minutes, they were tied. One minute little playoff. Soto went first. I don't remember exactly how many he hit, but uh, Otani tied him with like 15 seconds left. Mm-hmm. Only needed one more, and he couldn't do it. Next playoff, it's just you get three swings. Soto hit three bombs. Otani didn't hit a bomb on his first swing. Mm. So, yeah. That wrapped up the first round. Guess who had the longest home run of the night? I'm going to say Pete Alonso. Nope. No? Juan Soto, you already know. Yeah, I looked. I looked. 500? 520. Just a moonshot. I was pausing for dramatic effect. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't I didn't pick up on that. It's okay. No, my video sequence. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I hope you do. Moving on to the second round of tonight's 2021 Home Run Derby. I'm almost there. Pete Alonso goes up against Juan Soto. That was the uh, last matchup of round two. Pete Alonso wins. He won. Yeah. 16 home runs to Juan Soto's 15. Can we take, can we just remember for a second? Juan Soto's 22 years old. Yeah, 22. 26. Let that sink in. Let it sink in. Let it sink. The other matchup around two, Trey Mancini moves on with 13 home runs. Trevor Story, 12 home runs, gets knocked out and cores. Man, this round looked tight. How exciting was it to watch? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, 
I'm glad Mancini came out on top. It's hard not to root for the guy after hearing his story. Yep. Um, stage three colon cancer stage survivor. Stage three. Stage three. How many did you say he had again, Mancini? Thirteen. Thirteen? Okay, yeah. Another one of those, just one one homer. One homer differential. Oh. <sighs> a lot of jacks you could tell the guys were getting tired round two though significantly really? less home runs yeah because they had the yeah. same amount of time yeah yeah were you on the edge of your seat for that entire round though yes i was you were yeah man most of the derby i was because there was a lot of a lot of close matchups now we come into the final round a round that i can actually talk about because i witnessed it with I my it. own two eyeballs I saw it with your eyes saw it with my eyes listened to my ears and talked with my mouth mm-hmm all those things. The polar bear. Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo. The reigning home run derby champion. Going up against first time contestant. Baltimore Oriole. Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. Man. Let's break this down because Mancini went up first and he had a phenomenal start. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he did. 22 home runs in the final round. 22. It's a tough number to beat in the, in the third round. Eight home runs in the first minute. Yeah. Immediately just in a groove. Just dinger after dinger. A lot of ding-dongs. What was his longest shot? I know it looked like I looked at the screen out there. I did not. I did not look at the screen. Yes, you did. I did look at the screen. Yes, you did. I did look at the screen. Yes, he did. And you're accusing me of something I did not do. Uh, I'll take you to court. We have it. We have it on video. I'm going to say 493. You're wrong. I'm wrong. 490 foot feet. That's close. Too close. I didn't look. I didn't look. I'm just good at guessing. I'm suing you for lying. I watched the thing. I watched the entire derby. Oh, look at you. I don't have responsibilities. I have some. I don't like to, <laughs> to deal with them a lot. He said, hey, breaking news. We don't like responsibilities. Not our thing in our But we're here. Well, now it is. It has to be, even though you're not getting paid for to be the correspondent of the Home Run Derby next year. All right. You're I'm not getting paid this year. You will. I'm paying you in our friendship. You like that? I do like that. Good. I like it, too. Friendship time. Hey, snaps. Five, uh, five seconds of snaps for friendship. Five seconds of snaps. One, two, three. Five seconds. I love friendship. Friendship. But we need to move on. We do need to move on. We need to wrap up this home run derby coverage. Pete Alonzo takes the crown, hits 23 home runs. He hit a home run, I think, in his first or second swing of extra time. Um, I think there was like 30 seconds left to extra time. I mean, absolutely crushed it. Uh, Alonzo had 74 total home runs for the entire thing. His longest home run in the final round was 509 feet. Another moonshot. That's the great thing about course. No matter where they have the all-star game, they should fly the guys out to Coors Field every year for the home run derby. They should. Because it's should. just moonshot after moonshot after moonshot. The ball is flying out of the ball. Oh, it's so, it much, so much fun to watch. You want to get uh final t- totals, home run totals, and then we'll, uh, We'll do the thing. We'll say our outro. We'll say goodbye. Yeah. We'll tell everyone have a great evening. We'll talk to you later this week about the All-Star Game. We will. In the second half of the season. Because we're doing another pod this week. We're doing another pod. We're pods. doing another pod. Yeah. You yeah. want to do it? Yeah. All right. All right. Pete Alonzo tonight had 74 total home runs. The runner-up, Trey Mancini, had 59. 59? That's a big gap right there. That is a big gap. Juan Soto, 46 total home runs. 46. Can you believe that? Trevor Story, 32. Matt Olson, 23. 23. Didn't get out of the first round. It is what it is. It is what it is. Salvador Perez, 28. 28, yeah. Joey Joey Gallo, Gallo, 19. There you go. You didn't say 18 this time. Well, yeah. Good for you. You know your numbers. I learned. Shohei Otani, how many did he hit? Do you remember? 28. 28? Look at you go. I know stuff. I'm so proud of you. Because I saw Soto's was 31, and I knew Otani hit three less than that. So, math. That's the most math you've done in probably six years. For sure. Yeah, most, most definitely. I'm so surprised that the gears 
in your head that have not been oiled in God knows how long? Never. Did not fracture. Yeah. <laughs> he said never. I hate reading, so. Math isn't reading, is it? Sort of. You got to look at the paper and like interpret. <sighs> Interpret interpret what? Tell you with that thought real quick. The the numbers and what everything means. <laughs> it's it's, a hierog- lot of effort. it's, it's a lot hieroglyphics. Of effort. Mm, pretty much. I think to I me, said that word wrong. To me, it hi- hieroglyph. Hi- mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, was that the um, first stroke? That's that's stroke number one. Stroke number one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to our post home run derby coverage with me, Jacob. And me, Alex. The All-Star Game is tomorrow night. Your starting pitcher for the American League and also your DH is Shohei Showtime Otani. Starting pitcher for the National League, Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer. Good for him. I think it's his sixth All-Star. Scary man. I would not want to make Max Scherzer mad. Terrifying. I don't really want to make Shohei mad either. No. They're both very intimidating. But let's get intimidated together. Um... And watch the All-Star Game. Enjoy it. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We are armchair coaches. Baseball. Good night.